Welcome back to Good Day, Sin Lam. Marissa Price with CASA joins us now to preview the upcoming Volunteer Champions meeting and a lot of other things going on, too. Marissa, thanks for coming on the show today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Of course. So, I know you're always so busy over at CASA. Yes, we do. <laughs> we always have a lot going on. Um, right now, we have our training. It actually starts tonight. Um, our training is a four-week-long um, training. It's every Tuesday and Thursday from 5 to 8.30. Okay. Um, after you go through the training, you'll be sworn in at the Rapids, um, I don't lost the word, <laughs> at our courthouse. <laughs> so you'll be sworn in at our courthouse, and after that, you uh, become available to be a CASA volunteer. And what that means is you get assigned a CASA child, which is a child that's in foster care. And uh, the reason why we do this is really to get an extra set of eyes on children in foster care because, you know, so much goes on. They see so many people coming in and out. Um, and it, the cost of volunteer, first of all, remains that one person that they stay consistent with because DCFS workers can change, foster homes can change, they can move, you know, several times, but their cost of worker, their cost of volunteer will stay the same consistent person throughout their entire time in foster care. So it gives them that consistency. Um, they also um, write court reports for the child to go to court with. So whenever they submit those court reports, it tells the judge and everybody how the child is doing, um, what they're doing in the home and things like that. So, and y'all really prepare these advocates before they are assigned to yes, the case we do. too. That's why the yeah. training is is usually several weeks long and pretty mm -hmm. intense because it yeah. is a big job. Yeah, so it's eight classes and like I said, it's uh, a span of four weeks and they learn how to write their court report, they learn how to interact with the child, how to interact with the family um, because, you know, a lot of times they have trouble because these foster kids are coming into care and so our CASA volunteers have to talk to the biological parents and sometimes that can be difficult knowing that they may be the reason the child's in care. And so we try to prep them for things like how to talk to the family and the child and stuff. And so, you know, becoming a CASA volunteer is a commitment and you mm -hmm. can always accept a case or mm -hmm. say, no, not right now. Yeah. But for those who may be a little busier, may be worried mm -hmm. about having enough time to be a CASA volunteer, uh, tell us about the champions uh, option. Yeah, so we have our champions. So what our champions is, is basically if you can't donate your time, which is what a CASA volunteer does, if you can't donate your time, you have the option to donate other things. So some people just donate money every month. Um, sometimes what we'll do is, is say a CASA child needs money for... Um, maybe they want to be on the cheerleading team and that stuff costs money so they need the uniform they have to go to camp um, things like that their bags their their shirts and everything so what we'll do is, is we'll get a breakdown in those lists and we'll submit them to our champions and the people in our champions program will come together and say okay we need thirteen hundred dollars to send this child to to camp for cheer and for all of her uniform needs and they'll come together and either uh, usually just donate all the money um, between all of them and get that stuff for the child. We've had them donate I think money for laptops, um, cheer camps and just all kinds of things. It's such a great way to make sure that uh, the foster kids mm -hmm. who have uh, CASA volunteers are not falling through the cracks. Yes, yeah. so we say that all the time. It's it's another way to have more sets of eyes on the child because, you know, DCFS is swamped, you know. There's, I believe, like 400 kids in foster care, and they have to see those kids every month. And so just like our CASA volunteers, they also have to see the child every month. So it's that extra set of eyes on them to make sure something's not going unnoticed or something's not missed. So the example I like to give all the time is uh, there was a CASA volunteer who had a CASA child. They were out throwing a football one day and just kind of playing outside. And he noticed that his CASA child was kind of like squinting his eyes a lot. And so he asked him, he's like, hey bud, like, do you have a hard time seeing? And he was like, yeah, but he was too embarrassed the whole time he's been in foster care to tell anybody. Aww. So he's been sitting in the back of the class, like, having a really hard time seeing and stuff like that. So his CASA volunteer, you know, called DCFS up and was like, look, I think we need to get him an eye exam. They took him to get an eye exam, and sure enough, he needed glasses. Wow. So it's small things like that that can really make a big difference in it, because now that child can see, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. And so those are the, the small things that we talk about falling through the cracks, too, because 
he was too embarrassed to tell his foster family or anybody that he couldn't see. And so it's stuff like that that they help with. What a great impact that they have too. Mm -hmm. So when is the next Champions meeting that people can attend? Yeah, so our next Champions meeting is May 2nd at 5 p.m. Um, it's gonna be held at the Red River Bank Operations Center. The uh, address is 1337 Center Court Drive and a light meal will be provided. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, Marissa, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, and telling us all about it. Some really mm -hmm. great things going on with being a champion or volunteer with CASA. Mm -hmm. And if they miss this volunteer training, uh, we have several more scheduled throughout the year. They can just give us a call at our office and um, we'll tell them all about it. Perfect. Thank you again. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Market Day Live right after this break.